A major change at Boynton Beach High School just weeks before the start of school. Principal Gorn Sims has just been removed from his position and reassigned pending an investigation. News Channel 5 Sabira Rayford live for us with why some community members are upset that this comes just a few weeks before the start of the school year. Sabira. The school district confirmed that Principal Sims is under investigation, but they also confirmed that they have not notified parents. This is leaving many in the community with unanswered questions. On Monday, this picture was posted of Principal Sims on Boynton Beach High School's Facebook page saying the future is bright. But today, the Palm Beach County School District confirmed Sims is under investigation and when school resumes on August 13th, it will be overseen by District Administrator Anthony Lockhart. The district wouldn't comment further on why Sims is under investigation, but we do know Sims has a 24 year history with the Palm Beach County School District. He was appointed to lead Boynton Beach High School last year after a call for change when the school's state grade fell to a D. Today I spoke with the member of the Boynton Beach Coalition of Clergy who told me, quote, this information has also quickly filtered through our city and communities and we find ourselves answering concerning questions from community leaders, teachers, parents, and students. They say they don't know the circumstances surrounding his reassignment, but they want the district to act fast in its investigation. Quote, with three weeks left until school reopens, we are lobbying school board administration to process and conclude their investigation as expeditiously as possible with fairness, transparency and integrity in the best interest of the school community and students. And we reached out to Sims for comment, but we have not heard back. And we also reached out to the Palm Beach County Teachers Association, and they say they are aware of the situation, but they are not commenting until the investigation is complete. Reporting live in Boynton Beach, Sabir Rayford, WPTV News Channel 5.